I've been back in Ohio for a few months now. My brother Lee is letting me stay with him until I can figure out a more long-term option for my living situation. But it's been really nice being around family again. You know, after Dr. Now told me my sickness and pain after surgery was in my head and that there was nothing physical he could treat to make it better, I figured if being miserable was my new normal, then I should at least be around my family and the people that love me. But like four or five weeks ago, I started feeling better and I can eat now and keep it down. And most of the pain and dizziness is gone, so Dr. Now was maybe right. And so I called him and told him I was sorry for overreacting. But he wasn't happy, I skipped town kind of. He just really warned me not to fall back into my old habits here. And so I've stayed focused with all that, especially with my diet. And I'm going to a clinic here next week to get my weight checked and to check in with Dr. Now. But I can already tell I'm still losing a lot. And I'm looking forward to seeing where my weight's at now because I think the number is gonna be good. Me and Mandy are at the clinic here in Ohio to see where my weight's at and how I'm doing. And I think I'm gonna have a good number to share with Dr. Now. Angie. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? The last time I saw him was like three and a half months ago. And I weighed 415 pounds then. And I'm supposed to be losing 20 to 30 pounds a month. So that means I should be between the range of 325 and 355. All right, we are gonna head right around here to exam room five. Not quite in the 200s, but I'm really close. It's pretty much there, so I'm happy with that. And I think Dr. Now will be too. Hello? Hi, hey, Angie, how you doing? I'm doing good. Well, you're looking good, so uh, how's your weight doing? Uh, today it was 310.6. Well, that's good progress, and you came a long way from being over 600 pounds to almost half of what you weigh now, Bob. Yeah. So you still have 100 pounds overweight, uh, but half of that may be extra skin that need to come off. So in reality, you're only about 50 pounds from your ideal body weight, okay? Mm -hmm. How are you doing with your activity and exercise? Uh, I've been walking. I don't use a wheelchair no more or nothing. Well, that's good progress. Keep it up. So, mm -hmm. uh, have you been talking to Dr. Paradise? Yes. And, and, and that's helping you to stay focused with your eating habit and your overall well being, right? Yes. All right. And I'm really proud of your progress, okay? So, keep the good work. Don't fall back to your old habit. And, uh, Come back to you as soon as we can, and then we get extra skin off of you, okay? All right, well, thank you. That means a lot, Dr. Now. All right, and uh, I'm very happy for the turnaround that you made in your life, okay? Keep it up, and life will be better after that, okay? Okay. If you need that, take your big call, okay, Andrew? I will. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. He's proud of me means a lot, especially after how hard the last two years have been. So it just makes me feel really good to be here now, where I'm finally getting the life that I always wanted. Hey, Angie. I have to hold up my pants. Finally getting to a healthy place means everything to me because all I ever wanted was to be happy with my family. I wasn't a part of my kids' life as much as I wanted, but I'm able to make up for that now and be a bigger part of my grandkids' lives. And before all this, I was scared I wasn't ever gonna get this chance. But you know, I let things get bad and getting better physically, mentally, and emotionally has motivated me to work on things with the people in my life that mean the most to me. Look, these are Nana's favorite animals. No, no. Especially with Desiree. Because while I was in Houston, I let things get between us. And you know, she was right about Justin. So I made it a priority to make things right when I got back. And I have apologized for a lot with her. 
And I told her all I want is a chance to be a part of her and my grandkids' lives. It's been years since we've gotten to do something like this. Before the kids came, for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm really proud of you for everything you've been doing. And I'm glad that we got to go to the zoo together. Me too. OK, we're going up that way. We're going to go see the bears, you guys. If you're not healthy in one area, it kind of affects the other areas. So I'm trying to get right and be where I need to be in all the ways I can, so I can be healthy and stay healthy. With all my progress, Mandy said she wanted to treat me to a makeover. Hi, we have an appointment for Angie and Mandy. OK, Hi. come on back. And I'm excited because I've never had anything like this. I'm going to let you be creative. All right. <clears throat> we got it. You know, it's been a really long time since I've gotten my hair done professionally, or even been able to fit in a salon chair. All right. You ready? I'm ready. So I think it's going to help me take more pride in myself, like Dr. Paradise encourages me to do. You know, I feel like a new person, so I want to look like I feel, too. OK, I think we're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. What do you think? Do you even recognize yourself? Holy Do you love it? I love it. I can hardly believe that's me. I look like a completely different person than I did two years ago. It looks amazing. I'm not getting emotional. All this is just amazing to me. I just feel really blessed. It was a really hard road here, and I know my journey isn't over. But I'm going to stick to it no matter what. And now that I'm starting to believe in myself, and I can have everything I want out of life. Bye, guys. Thank you, so much. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Yeah. It may not be easy, but I just have to work at it. So that's what I'm going to keep on doing. I'll keep working to stay healthy and fight to keep going, because I'm worth it.